Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, and this is a Lotro guide today, my friends, for this playlist. And we're going to talk about the social panel and adding friends in Lord, Lord of the Rings Online, because that's a really important aspect of the game. It's an MMO. If you meet someone in the game, you want to add them, right? So again, if you like this and I earned it, don't forget to subscribe and like, and let's move on, my friends. Okay, so first to find the social panel, there's a button at the very bottom down here between little fellowship button and you click that it'll open it okay you can also click this arrow and go up to here social panel you can also click the letter o on your keyboard to open it quickly okay so those are the ways to get it now that we're on here let's talk about it real quick we'll go through it step by step as fast as i can so it don't take a long time for you but here we go following okay so this is basically people in the area you're in or um around, that are online on your server and in the world that aren't anonymous, okay? So this is something that I recommend to most people. This anonymous button, do not check it. Leave it unchecked. If you have it checked, people won't be able to see that you're in the world, okay? It basically means you're like in like hidden mode. Don't have it on. I would recommend don't have it on unless you have someone that's like spam messaging you or something. I but then you could just block that one person. I'll explain that in a minute. That never happens in this game. Rarely ever, though. Okay, so I would leave it off. It's you. People can find you better. You want to leave it off. All right, next thing. Filters. Okay, so again, this is people in the world. So as I go down here, you can see what area they're in. You can see uh, their player name, what class they are, their race, right? Which And then what level they are, right? So just information. These are all the people that are online right now in the world, okay? That are online that are not anonymous okay a lot of people leave anonymous on and i'm not always sure why but just to let you know right now sometimes it i'm not sure if it automatically turns you on anonymous or not so you just need to make sure i think it's automatically off but just make sure when you start a character because it'd be kind of a bummer if you're always like why don't people ever invite me <laughs> that kind of thing uh next thing is you have class uh filter who list um, all classes, you can select certain classes you're looking for that are people are online and what levels, right? And then filters, right? A couple more things with like, you can search their name or something, right? Um, like, for example, let's just do, see, look, I, the one guy, I just looked at his name, right? The filter. So you could find certain people that are online and stuff. Again, displaying 100 out of one for, um, uh, there's a lot of people on right displaying 100 out of uh, 469 entries so there's a lot of people on there's like almost 500 people on right now and this is a slow time of day on the server but again and the and that are showing themselves again that's an important thing the anonymous thing and then you can also do this is the area right the whole world and areas in the world you can also say kinship and it'll show different kinships and people that are online and what kinship they're in so basically all it's doing is flipping this one thing right here and now you can see all these people online still but what kinships they're in so you can see if people aren't in a kinship maybe that person you want to talk to them and ask them to join your kinship but you guys should come and join if you're on crick hollow you should join voice of the rings I'm trying to get people to join. We'll talk about that in a minute. For fun. For fun, obviously. I'm just trying to get a really good community together for Voice of the Rings. If you're a Voice of the Rings subscriber. Moving on. Now there's another tab down here called Quest Grouping, okay? When you click on this, this is another thing of moving around the world and stuff. Again, I'll have some tabs at the bottom so you can hop through if you want to go to one of the other tabs here sooner. Excuse me, not tabs, timestamps in the description. Um, so now we've got a couple other things here. So we have the quests. So you can look for certain things, any quests they're on. You can actually find what people, what quests they're on and who's online, who could do that, maybe want to do that quest with you. So there's a whole way of searching through. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to any, you look for the quest you're on, right? Or what you're doing. Again, I believe it has to do with what quests are in your quest log because it's showing me random ones. So I'm assuming those are the ones they're in my quest log. And yes, they are. Look at that. Okay, again, so you can find quests that people are on the same ones as you. So this is very handy indeed. Show all, right? You can show all people uh, my quests. So um, unfortunately, it looks like no one online is on my quests. Displaying zero of seven entries. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Show all again. Um, so this, these are the people who are allowing this on. And unfortunately, none of them are on the quests as me. But again, it's a fun little thing. Not really used very much. But again, following is basic, or excuse me, 
fellowing is basically fellows in the world. It's everyone in the world. All right, now let's go to the next one. The friends tab. One of the reasons you probably clicked on the video. All right, so this is again, similar. There's filters, right? You got your class level, member, area they're in, last time they were on, and note. Again, you can click these, so you can put a note on someone if you wanted to, to remind you who they are, right? So again, you can click on these to search them or whatever. I usually just leave it on, um, you know, whatever you want, but class level. Last time online is fine. It's really up to you how you want to organize that. Now let's talk about adding someone, okay? So how do you add someone? Well, you just click the add button and you type in their name. It is fickle. You need to make sure it's the exact right spelling. And if they have most, you can't do spaces in this, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, the exact right spelling, you could add someone as a friend. These are all people that I've had added for friends. And then again, how do you remove someone? Well, you click remove. And that is uh, when you're selected on someone. And I may have just removed someone. <laughs> I will have to add them back. But that is okay. We're going to add them back now. So you can add them back when they're not online, I believe. So I'm going to do this, right? This is the person I just removed. It, it's telling me the name of who I removed in my um, description. Done. And it added that person back onto my friends list. Now, again, if someone is bothering you, you can ignore them. It's not called block, but it's called ignore them. So again, I do have some from the past. And the only reason was many years ago, this isn't a thing that happens nearly as often. They've really cracked down on this. But five or six years ago in this game, there were occasional people who spammed you know, do you want money? Do you want this in the world chat? And if you ignore them, you won't see their spam in the world chat. So people would just all ignore them. Okay. So that's why I have quite a few. There's really not, everyone's really nice players in this game. Again, you could add someone to the ignore list like this. And if you want to talk to do this another way, you can always, if you're in a fellowship, you can right click on someone's portrait and say, add friend when they're in your group. And then also if for example, let's say, oh, here we go. This is a good example. I was just talking to someone right click on their name their name see where it's green right here i right click it it brings up a little menu here i can say chat send ims i can say add to friends list so i'm going to click add to friends list boop all right so now if i go to my friends list here and let's see last online oh look he's online right now and his name is green right online he's in that area okay and he's in a fellowship see a little group fellowship boom now you know how to do that and again i can add a note um, you know, I can click on this and I can say add note and add a note about him. Um, he's a new kinship member, right? That's why I just, boom, add a note. So again, um, uh, did it, does it have to be a smaller note? Uh, let's just put wow. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know why it's not adding my note. Very interesting indeed. Well, that is, um, that is interesting. So strike that, everyone. I just learned something with that. Um, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Again, you can also click tell, which is the IM or personal direct message. That is what tell means in Lord of the Rings Online, guys. This is extremely important for you all to know. So if I click tell, it'll automatically s type into my thing, slash tell, blah, blah, blah. When I type to him, it'll bring up into the IMs a message, right? Direct message. And it'll you'll hear that ding sound when you talk to them, when they're talking back and forth, okay? So that's how you communicate. You could also right click on their name if you see their name, or you could right click on their picture if they're in your fellowship and do this as well and say chat, send uh, I am session, send message. And that is also where a chat is where you ignore someone if you right click on them if you need to. But that is very unusual to need to. Again, also when you right click on their name, if they type to you, this is where you can invite them to a fellowship. This is where you can also invite them to a kinship. And since he is already in the kinship, we're gonna hop straight over to the kinship now that we talked about the friends tab. So we're gonna go into the kinship tab. I'm trying to do this streamlined, but where you have the info you need, okay? So again, I have the kinship voice of the rings. You guys are welcome to join it. If you are on Crick Hollow, you just have to add, add this character as a friend since he's leader right now. 
uh, Voice of the Rings. And then when I'm online, send me a message and I am, which I'm explaining to you right now. And I will invite you if you want to join. You do not have to join. You are welcome to join them. Again, now you can see a couple things here. When you create this tab, will say go to a notary to create a kinship if you want to create a kinship for your friends, right? Or your group. And by the way, you can be one person in a kinship. And then that will allow you to buy a kinship house. Side note. Okay. Uh, now, the Lord of the Rings. So we have successor. And uh, so I can, uh, as a leader, you can... Uh, at the kinship, you may select an officer from the list to ma name as your successor, okay? So basically what happens if, if I name someone as a successor, then if I, that button will change to a um, resign and then it will put the leadership to someone else, okay? And there's also despair. As a leader, you may choose to disband your kinship. Never click this button, just don't. Don't ever do it because the next part, all right? Again, here's our kinship name right there, Voice of the Rings. Um, the lifespan of your kinship. This takes like, I forget the exact total amount. I will link a thing in the wiki about kinships uh, from the Lotro wiki, which is fantastic, guys, about times. But I believe to get to rank seven, you need like at least six months of your kinship active. Actual six months, you guys. Actual time. Um, then you can buy a kinship house. And then you can get rank 10 as max ranked. You can set your message of the day, set message of the day. Basically, I could type something different here. I could do a couple more explanations. Set message of the day. It updated it. It put some more explanation marks and it says you have updated your kinship message of the day, right? I'm the leader, I can do that. Also, officers will be able to do that. So now, if you're a leader, if you want to control stuff about your fellowship, you now know how to invite people, right? So you, write, you talk to them, I am them, right click their name, invite to kinship. Once you've invited them to kinship, there's a couple different levels. There's a member, which is the blue flag. There is uh, just a recruited. You just recruited them there in the kinship. They have no flag. And there is a officer flag, which is the red one. Those are the levels. And then there is a success, successor and a leader. Got tongue tied there a little bit, which is uh, me right now. I will not have a successor yet. We might have one in the future. We'll find out. Most likely, I would put it on my other account just in case, you know, for emergencies. But uh, maybe we'll have someone who will want to be the successor in the future. Well, I'll figure that out later. But again, you can also search by location and turn on online or offline to see who's online and offline. Okay, there's your filters. Now at the bottom, you can also click add. This is another way you can type their exact name in. You can say remove someone. If you clicked on them, you click remove, it'll remove them. You can promote someone. I'm gonna promote our new friend here to a member. So promoted, it just said in the comments that I promoted him. Demote, I can remove him back to non and I'm gonna put him back though. So he's probably wondering what in the world am I doing right now? <laughs> Giving him membership back and forth. Um, then here is another way you can click the note thing again. Um, I'm just curious about that message, that note thing. I'm very curious about that, why that is not showing up. I don't know if I, oh, there it is. Edit note. Well, yeah, I can right click and edit note. Can I view notes? That is still, I'm still weirded out with the note thing. I will link a wiki article about the, the note thing. Okay, so don't worry about that. There is the resign button. I, forgive me, the successor button is here. The resign button is here. So if I resigned, right now i don't have successor so i'm assuming it would probably put it to my officer okay that's basically how that works so now you know about the kinship and how to invite people to kinship okay next one the raid tab this is a very simple thing basically i have a whole video on inviting people and stuff you can go check out that in the guide playlist but um when you're in a fellowship a six man when you invite people right click on their name or in the im or in person again if you find a person to click on these are npcs i can't do it right but if i clicked on someone i could right click and again this is saying only has one option because he's an npc but it'll give you a lot more options with a real person another player and you can invite them send i am invite them a kinship inspect their armor again that is another thing I'm going to pop back to the anonymous button real quick because this is really important as well. If you are in the, uh, if you have anonymous on and someone tries to inspect your armor, it won't let them. And that's a big reason why a lot of people do not have anonymous on usually. Because what happens is if someone is being kind of like, oh, how good is his gear? Can he come in this instance with us? A lot of people will right click your name and inspect your armor real quick, right? And look what you have on and judge by that. And some people don't like that. Now, granted, very few people are gonna do that. Most people are gonna let you join anyway, unless you're like 
really low level or your gear is just terrible. But those people aren't gonna do that to you. So again, I would recommend leaving that off, anonymous, or just turning on temporarily if you wanna leave it on temporarily, okay? So now the raid one is basically when you right click on your name and your yourself, when you're in a fellowship, you have fellowship members, one through six of you in a fellowship, you can say convert to raid. What happens then is it'll change the look of the side thing. And I have a video, I believe on this too, all this information in the guide playlist, but just a little quick thing. Then you can invite more people. You can invite up to 24 people. You can have six groups of six. You can show vitals. If you check mark these, basically what it'll do is it'll let you see their vitals. And again, if you do the control backslash, you can move stuff around and then you can move your assist windows or raid windows around because you'll have four of them if you're the leader if you want to see them all, okay? And also this assist window button has to do with a little, which is right here, assist window. Basically what that means is whoever is selected as the assist window person, when they're clicked on something, that if you click on the assist window, it'll target the target they're targeting. It helps a lot in raids, okay? So you don't need to worry about that right now. I have a video on raids, but don't worry about that. Raid locks, this basically tells you if you have a raid lock. What is a raid lock? Well, a raid lock is, by the way, and if you want to get rid of those things on your screen, then you have to press control backslash again, by the way. Raid locks are instances and raids that you've been in. See group locks info. Basically what happens is this will tell you if you have a lock on a raid, because usually there's a timer on raids. So like when you start a big, big raid, it's a weak cooldown for your character, right? So if you've already done it, you're already in it, or you failed it or something, um, if you can't rejoin that one with a group in the time period, it'll lock for a few days for the cooldown. And this is where you'll find out that information. Raid chest lock information. Okay, and this also has to do with chests in game. Okay, so yeah, that's this one. Obviously, as you can see, I don't use this one very much, but it's it's sometimes useful. Anyway, again, the big ones for you guys, again, the fellowship one, how to add people. Again, right clicking on their name is great. Sending them an IM, right clicking on their picture. If you select them in person, in the game in person, um, you can right click on them, right click on their portrait that you've selected. You send them IM, send them kinship invite, send them fellowship invite. That's all how you do that, okay? And again, I do have a whole one about fellowships, how to convert fellowships in a raid. I have a whole guide video on that already. But I want to just talk about the social panel for you guys. And again, if you want to join um, Voice of the Rings, my fellowship, here on Crick Hollow, the server has to be on the same server. Add this character as a friend. Again, you know how to add. You type in, you type in Voice of the Rings, invite, uh, or sorry, you don't do it on the kitchen tab, you do it on the fellowship tab. Add, type in my name. You'll automatically be a friend on there. And then um, I'll be a friend and you'll see me online. You can right click on this. You can say, send I, send I am. It's gonna bring up this little thing like this, right? And then you're gonna type space after it does the slash tell the name, which is another way you could do it, by the way, if you wanna send someone I am personal message. And then at that point you can type in, hey, I wanna join the kitchen. And then I'll invite you real quick. And if I don't respond immediately, it's because I'm probably making a video. So just don't worry about it. If I don't respond, I just give me a few minutes and I'll respond. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. I hope that helps you out with the social panel. And I thought that would be a good video. Please ask questions if I miss something and you're a little bit confused on something. Again, I will have a Lotro wiki um, about the um, note thing down there and also the few other things, right? So I'll have those on there for you and I'll have some timestamps. So you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. Thank you so much to my Patreons for your support. It means a lot, you guys. You guys are interested in supporting the channel. Link's down there. You can join our Discord group. We're having a lot of fun. But again, if you want to join our Voice of the Rings family here, you can always click that subscribe button. That's free. And then the next video will be up there. And like the video if you enjoyed and share it and all that kind of jazz. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. And the next playlist is over there. So I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings, my friends. Have a great day in Middle Earth. Hope that helped out.